lot of people seem to think you need a sawmill. And logs and lumber. My first sawmill was like a chainsaw. Don't need anything fancy. You gotta know how to control your cuts. inside. Almost there. Is it perfect? Nope. Can I rework with some other tools in my shop now? Yep. And this isn't something that would have fit on my bandsaw mill. But these black walnut logs are still useful. I can now finish this up. I can take a plane to it. Squared up a lot nicer. I can cut into smaller boards using oh circular saw, band saw. Have usable lumber. Have a log that would normally just gone to be firewood. This is what I did before I got my sawmill. If I want to, I could take the chainsaw and 
Cut more grooves down, make thinner boards. Process is just the same. Get your line start, keep it straight. Use the tip of the blade. Keep working it. Don't stay in one place. You want to keep working through that groove and making it deeper. If you stay in one place too long, you're likely to get your cut off. All you got to do is keep it moving. Just use maybe the first third of that blade at the tip. And just keep it moving once you get your initial line. Until you've cut all the way through. And usually, it'll stay pretty straight. I said not bad. This will turn into something nice. I've already done a few of these. I'm going to do a few more. Might use some of this black wool to make some knife handles once it dries out. Alright. I'm going to get back to it. Just want to share that with y'all.